What's the cringiest thing you've seen a bride and groom do for their wedding? I used to videotape weddings so I've seen it all. This one couple from New Jersey were the spitting image of Snooki and Wow's ex-husband, Roger. They were super into appearances and very over-the-top gaudy. During their church ceremony, they had their very white 60 years old uncle, with Native American feathers tied into his hair, stand up and chant around the church giving what I can only assume was some kind of blessing. It was so weird and out of place. I assume they wanted to seem deep during their ceremony. They mixed colored sand together in a vase too. Ick. But one of my favorite memories from years of cater waitering was this long Indian wedding where they had a lot of random relatives get up to give a toast, everyone's giving these long speeches and then one uncle gets up, goes, I made him waffles once, and sits back down. I swear to God. Bless that man, wherever he is. Toasts in general are usually terrible and full of cringe. Just keep it short, sweet and genuine. No one wants 15 minutes of inside jokes that are embarrassing and don't make sense. Speeches My god, the speeches. Here's the backstory. The reception was scheduled for right after the ceremony but at a different location. We couldn't eat until the wedding party got there. They showed up two hours late because they were cruising around on the party bus and drinking. After showing up they decided to do the speeches before dinner. Speeches from the best man, the maid of honor, a few parents and random people. I've never listened to so much boring crap. It took more than an hour to get through them all. So basically everyone sat around with no music and no food for three hours. The bar wouldn't open either so we had only water to drink. Nearly everyone, including me, left after eating. It was disrespectful to their guests. My friend got pregnant at 20 with a piece of shit guy so they got married. It was me, our friend, her mom and then just the two of them. They got married in some random lady's house, we sat on computer chairs in a small living room with the lady's dogs sniffing us and barking. The whole thing lasted maybe 5 or 10 minutes. After we proceeded to take wedding pictures in the parking lot of a dollar store and then we got McDonald's. I made a little bouquet out of some ferns and leaves that were in the McDonald's parking lot, she threw the bouquet and it ended up getting run over by someone going to the drive through LOL needless to say, it was a trashy affair and their marriage didn't last long. At the beginning of the reception, we all had to stand up and sing the national anthem. To be clear, this was in another country I'd never been to a wedding in before, so I thought okay maybe this is just a tradition I've never heard of before here. Then I told this to other people, and they were all like no, that's just really weird. Also, at that wedding the father of the groom ended his speech with what I'm sure he thought was an amazing joke, on how it's easier to build a bridge to Hawaii than to understand what a woman is thinking. It would have been awkward enough had the man not also been standing between his ex and current wife as he was delivering it. Bride shows up almost two hours late to her own wedding. Southern California in an open field and no water no shade. She shows up and wants to get married in her yoga outfit. The groom shut it down and when she refused to change her clothes the groom decided to leave her looking stupid and they never got married. Edit, I spoke with my uncle and it turns out he had speculation that his fiancée was sleeping with her personal trainer. When she showed up in her yoga outfit it was all he needed to call off the wedding. She ended up married to her personal trainer and divorced again. Not the groom and bride's fault. But the pastor marrying them, talked about his marriage and his kids for 20 minutes. He was obviously going for something of showing what marriage will be like. But he full up was talking about how his daughter, Kelsey, learned to walk this way, and his other daughter's first words were this and that. And that he and his wife make love throughout the house because that's what you do when in love, etc. Bride and groom had to stand there holding hands for 20 minutes right in front of him as the other 150 of us had to listen about his sex life and his kids.